Good evening and welcome to another episode of Lights, Camera, Roll. My name is Tristan Powell and I am the Dungeon Master of the Dun Dungeons and Dragons group. And joining me are my lovely players tonight. I'm Clown <laughs> and I'm... Oh God. I'm playing uh, a Rogue Jester Gideon. Um, I am Drew and I am Paleus the Monk. <laughs> nice. I'm Angela. I'm playing Fox the Druid. <laughs> I'm Plaid Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, Plaid Man. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how he got in here. He's so mysterious. <laughs> I, I didn't let him in. Yes, Bryn has been replaced by Plaid Man today. Uh, as you can <laughs> see, uh, we are doing our Halloween-themed episode. And unlike those normie shows that may record their Halloween episode before Halloween, so you get to see it on Halloween, we record ours on on Halloween, so you can Correct. see it a week after Halloween. Professionals. Correct. This <laughs> was intentional. That's how it's done. So, Chase the season. Yeah. Oh so, sit back, relax, and enjoy another episode of Lights, Camera, Roll. Uh. So, last time on Lights, Camera, Roll... You guys had just made it back to Mesita and have returned to Vecna with the knowledge um, that you'd gained in the ruins in the wooden forest after beating the Vika catchers there. Uh, you had returned with Adon um, and on your way back had been stopped by two owlbears that Adon had had the great fortune of killing himself oh somehow. Um, <laughs> so uh, Adon was quite pleased with himself he created an and it created a new title for himself as well. Um, so you guys uh, went down into the library underneath Vecna's house. Um, that was once the library of the Purple Lotus Clan that Vecna's family belonged to. And there learned about some of the history of Calcia and Vecna's plan for how to combat the infection and some things. So you guys got some locations to choose from. Yes. Um, you also got to look at your maps, which is fun and exciting. Um, and then, so yeah, so I believe last time you chose and you were going to head towards uh, Vinio City, and then on to Tartuk, mm -hmm. to one of the old um, research facilities of the Clan of Zurin. So, um, you guys had each gotten also your individual rooms in the underground library as well. So, and that is where you awaken this morning, is in your own room, um, and of, with a communal bathroom and shower to share. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> So, um, yes, you are now up. There's also an intercom system in your rooms as well. So if you'd like oh, yeah. to communicate with people without leaving your rooms, you can do that as well. So, yes, you are now awake. A long rest has happened, so you'll have all your abilities and health back. Nice. Um, but the day is yours. So. Hmm. Well, happy, happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Is it morning? I don't know. Usually. You could have just woken up at any time. We're underground. You Who know. knows? We Who just knows have to trust. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, well, oh. let's have some breakfast. That's I'm sounds hungry. good to me. <laughs> to be <honest. laughs> All right. So okay. you, each, uh, you each leave your rooms, um, and you go to the kind of the elevator, the platform that takes you back up to the main mm -hmm. House is Vecna. Vecna stays in the house himself. So, oh, okay. yeah. Um, you each get there. Um, no one's quite late, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So you take the platform up, and you ride it up through the ground uh, back up to Vecna's main floor. So you're on the main floor, and you find Vecna in the kitchen cooking some breakfast. Nice. Hello, my sweet, sweet boy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. And as you see Vecna turn around. You actually see he looks like almost a zombie with like these like robes and, and tatters hanging off of him, and his face has like weird symbols painted on it. It's a good look for you. <laughs> Thank you, and happy Hallow's Eve to you as well. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Totally lost track you guys of time. Didn't believe me. <laughs> I always. Yeah, I you can didn't sense have a calendar, but I've been yeah, traveling yeah, for yeah, years. So and I'm, yeah. oh, um, I can do you all know of our Halloween. tradition? Of Hallow's Eve here? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> dress up, put runes on your face, and go about town. I mean, the runes is kind of 
my own thing for this um, persona I am portraying. I right like now. that. That's very good. Um, as you can see, I am a lich, a great and powerful dark wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> he winks. <laughs> so, um, yes, uh, we dress up in kind of some scary costumes as uh, as during this time of year, specifically this day during the fall season, um, the spirit world kind of gets closer to our motor, motor plane here, and the spirits are closer to crossing over. So we dress up in some scary costumes in hopes of scaring away the spirits, or so the legend goes. Um, but, you know, it's kind of a time of celebration and of the harvest and, you know, just having, getting the community up and yeah. having a good time. So um, I do have some costumes that you guys could choose from. Um, if you'd want to, Gideon, you know you look you know, you look pretty good already. So <laughs> it's it's up to you if you'd like to change. You can't really improve on perfect clownage, so I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> since, yeah, since Gideon already kind of looks clown gestury, just in yeah. their, uh, Gideon's normal. So. <laughs> like a goddamn fool that I am, and that's um, what I am. Those pants. Yeah, Gideon, yes. yeah, Gideon, you probably fit in pretty well today. <laughs> so, One day of the year. No. No matter where you go. Um, but yes. Uh, for the rest of you, he pulls out a box, and there's kind of some like clothes and looks like some makeup kits in there. Um, I have. He pulls out like some. He pulls out a makeup kit. I have some zombie makeup you could put on. Uh, he pulls out kind of a black cape with some like two little. Uh, like fangs and like here's a vampire kit you could be you could be a, a dreaded vampire Ooh. those do exist so be careful sorry my bad it slipped out um do they do what's halloween dress up halloween as human to scare off the vampire <laughs> yeah <laughs> spirits i'm um, already yeah. scary enough as a human you know <laughs> hey, um, hey, I, mean, uh, I guess i i am unsure of what vampires do i'm I'm probably. I would guess that vampires dress as themselves and walk among us without us even knowing. That's kind of sick. Oh. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so one day they're the, accepted. Yes. The one day. Uh, <laughs> you, can, oh uh, you can dress up as a ghost, and he pulls out a big sheet with two eye holes cut out of it. That's so good. <laughs> and then um, there's also here. I am. I think. I think Adon wore this last year, so it's a little small, but I think you could fit into it. He pulled this like giant, like woven together horse costume. For like one person, so there's like a giant like Whoa. head that goes onto yours, and then your face kind of like comes out of the neck, and you have like hooves for hands and feet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did Adon kill this horse himself? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not a real horse. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a costume made out of cloth. Sure. I want to be the ghost. <laughs> I'll be but, the ghost. Um, so this this might shoot, and will hide your humanness as well. So. He hands you the bed sheet. Yes. <laughs> he holds it. I'm gonna put that on. All right, you are now a ghost. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, left is left is the zombie makeup, the vampire, and the horse costume. I want to be the vampire. Vampire. All yeah. right. He hangs over the two fangs and the cloak to you. Sweet. Can I just put on the yeah. horse head? <laughs> <laughs> I want that. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Yeah. He hands the horse costume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. So left is be. left is the zombie makeup. Guess I will be a zombie. Oh. All right. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> awesome. Very good. And he hands the, the zombie makeup to you. It's just like some like <laughs> plant dyes and things like that. And nice. just like you make yourself look all undead and your like eyes are dark and your skin <laughs> nice. looks like it's flying off. <laughs> Alright, you look kinda like close like close to how Vecna looks right now, but like Vecna looks much more powerful and mm -hmm. kind of destructive and dangerous looking. All right. All right. Um, he kind of stares at you as you all adorn your costumes. He's like, you know, you, you all look amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is great. Um, but yes, no, uh, and say in each village we, there is a festival. Um, so <laughs> I know you're heading out, out to Vinio, which actually has the largest festival and celebration um, in the land. We have we have one here in Matsuta. It's it's small, but you know, it's it's fun. Um, yeah, I guess it's a. Uh, it's up to you guys. Uh, the the trip to Vinio will take almost the whole day, but you should get there by nighttime, right? Uh, say like right as the festival may be starting, if you left in a timely manner. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we yeah, can make yeah, progress yeah. and have fun. Oh, um, go. <laughs> Calm down, get here. I'm like I'm like 18 years old. I want to go to the festival. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody watch this kid. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, that's what you wish for. You can. Uh, you still have 
uh, the three horses you brought back oh, yeah. from your last nice. travels. Um, mm -hmm. So you can use those, and you know, going going at a fast speed, you should be able to get there right in time for the festival. Awesome. So, all right. Uh, well, I wish you luck. Um, say it may be maybe a while since you've if you're going all the way to Tartuk, um, it may be a bit before we see each other again. So, mm -hmm. um, good luck, my friends. I wish you safe travels. Can we Thank get some of that you. sweet breakfast food before we go, though? That's a good point. Yes, <laughs> of course. That breakfast food. <laughs> Break that yes, fast. He's over some nice um, sausages and pork sausage. Yeah. Or, sorry, eggs and pork sausage. <laughs> Delicious. Sausage and pork sausage. <laughs> <laughs> there is a difference. Ah, yes. The first sausage is unknown. <laughs> um, Mystery we'll sausage. Yes. That's ominous. It's Perfect for Allazy. You Alan's do hear Eve him call sausage. out and say, Adon, come say goodbye to our friends. Oh, no. <laughs> and uh, you don't hear anything, and Vecna's like, Adon! Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> the great and powerful Albert Slayer! <laughs> Our friends are leaving. Would you like to come say goodbye? You hear small feet running down the stairs. Aww. Oh my god, this guy's got a lot going on his head. Oh boy. Hello! Hi, Adon. Hello, Adon. I guess you only answer to one thing now, I guess. He's also carrying uh, the bow with him. He's like, you guys need me to come out and help you guys slay some more owlbears? I, uh, but you gotta keep the festivities going on here, Adon, yeah. you know? And yeah. you, you, like kill, party. you killed all the owlbears on the way to Vino City, so I think we'll be yeah, safe. Yeah, we'll be in the clear. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, as long as you guys think so. So, you know, I'm, I'm here and I'm ready. She holds up the bow. Um, Don't oh, point that at me, fella. Great. <laughs> 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 uh, he actually, <laughs> he holds it up and there's a... Um, Kind of like over the over the door exiting, there's this small like little wooden plaque with like a saying on it, and he points the bow at it and rolls a natural twenty. <laughs> it's right in the center. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this guy's dude. Out his rolls. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's add on. Add on is add on is we're ready to go. <laughs> oh like, whoa! All right, I'll hold, I'll hold down the fort. Oh. No, no, good no, sir. No, yes, we're just living in, in here. So. Oh my God. You the best. All right, Vecna is like concerned, also impressed. <laughs> like, oh my God. I don't, I never knew this side of you before. Um, kind of leans to you guys. Is like, I don't know whether to hate you or thank you for, for this. You're welcome. Either way, yes. I can be your bodyguard. Yeah, this, this is true. I, I never expected this. <laughs> what a twist! As for that on, so. All right. All right. Um, so yes, you guys eat breakfast. Uh, it is quite good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and you may head out. Um, you may purchase anything at the local store um, if you want to before you leave, or if you're all good, you can head out the gates. Maybe. Um. Um. I don't think I need anything, but if I don't really need anything. Wait. Uh, is there someone who can fix the sad scimitar I have with me? The one that, you know, got melted? Can we do that before we leave town? Or would that take too long? Um, Vecna, you kind of show it to Vecna, and Vecna looks at it. He's like, well, so we did have that one blacksmith, but he was the one that kind of sheltered those Vika catchers. Yeah. So, plus, you know, this is such a fine blade. Um, I think you might need to wait until Vinio. Vinio has some okay. much finer blacksmiths that can probably... Um, handle a blade like this. Got it. That's fair. That's you can fair. also hide behind your ghost costume, and they may never know. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the plan. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> hey, yeah. As you're just this like blob <laughs> of white now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, so if you're all good to go, so yeah, as you leave the house, you see that. Um, yeah, on this like very nice um, fall day, you see the town has kind of gotten decorated as there is like squash that has been carved um, with small candles in it in front of every doorstep. Um, and in the fields, you see uh, there's actually scarecrows kind of set up in the fields oh. and kind of decorated a little more creepily than normal. Yeah, like, uh, I like that a lot. And as, um, so your horses are at kind of at the stable, like right near the front gate of this town. So as you're walking to get your horses, um, actually, no, they're in the stable next to the sawmill. Cause it's cool. similar. Um, if you remember from the first day. Um, as you walk through the main square, you see there's kind of, they're starting to kind of build some festivities, like kind of a small stage in the middle of the town square. Uh, and every, everyone in town is actually wearing a costume as well. Um, some are more elaborate than others, as some people seem to enjoy it more. Others can have just like a mask on. 
It's like some kind of like theatrical mask, like big noses, kind of big grins, sad faces, things like that. So, uh, yes, Gideon, your your mask fits. <laughs> Perfectly. <laughs> you just look like one of the crowd in this day. Oh man, this day is perfect for me. Um, yeah. Uh, the other seems to be kind of setting up for the festival later tonight in this town square. <laughs> yeah. Um, you walk to the stable and you gather your horses. Uh, you're there. You have three horses. Um, so who would like to pair up? Because you lost one. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. You're, you're such a bad animal handler. <laughs> well, I am a horse now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> so you could just walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> to you. Try and catch up. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. Um, I don't know. <laughs> who wants to take day. me on their horse? <laughs> who wants? Who wants me? You can choose. I don't yeah, care. Choose, I'll. Don't care. I'll, I'll uh, I'll go with you this time. The ghost. I'll go with the ghost. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna have a great time. <laughs> yes. A cool. ghost and a horse. Ride a, a horse. <laughs> There's a joke in there somewhere. But I, I don't. I can't all right. Think of it. Uh, they all so walk into a bar. The three of you to roll animal handling. Oh boy. For me. <laughs> hey, I got out of that. Natural oh. one. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, eleven. Eleven. So you two, um, you mount your horses uh, quite fine, and everything goes according to plan. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, folks. Um, so as you step up to your horse, it kind of looks at you like, what? what are, like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, no. You're just this big blob with two eye holes. But, <laughs> but then it sees Gideon behind you. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> and the horse loses its mind as it thinks... Uh, Odd human horse hybrid is trying to <laughs> ride this horse Ugh. in an unnatural abomination. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. And the horse starts bolting down the road away from you guys. Okay. Can we try and catch that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, roll <laughs> initiative. <laughs> and try, and catch, try and catch the horse. I can see me. Twelve. Twelve. Six. So yeah. So whoever's helping gets to roll. Six. Initiative. Oh, thanks, guys. Ten. We're still getting on our horses, all right. The horse <laughs> wasn't our a, fault. Got, the horse got a natural twenty. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So that's, that's two natural twenties for me for my first two rolls. Hey, hey! So. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this horse really gets that. away. <laughs> Oh, like wow. this horse like runs away and like, and like finds flies. like a yeah <laughs> finds like a happy family and like <laughs> grows old. Has a couple kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is initiative, so it's just the horse goes first is like. Oh, okay. We're gonna spend the entire time running up to this. I was kind of I was kind of happy for that horse. I mean, yeah. He's gonna I mean, grow old and die, you know, die with a lot of you know loving family around it. I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. You can't. Get what you want on Hollow's Eve. Hollow's Eve. All their tricks about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, so the horse um, <laughs> bolts off, and yeah, we're just going to, the horse is, we're just going to say the horse is gone. <laughs> As the horse runs um, down the road, let's see, where's my time? Out? Yeah, the horse runs down the road past the Smithy House where you first captured the Vika Catchers and runs out of the gate uh, towards Rojo Village. Um, cool. So You're getting a new horse over there. The, the, yes. The complete opposite way that you guys needed to go. Well, that's, that's great. <laughs> great. Now we can yeah. both have two riders on this horse. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. as um, some of the kind of stable hands are just like trying to hide their laughter. Um, yeah, I've seen this. So, yeah, so you guys can ride each with the other pair. Yep. Um, as you guys rolled enough on your animal handling check. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. All right, so on your two horses, <laughs> yeah. um, you head out of the, of the city, gate, uh, city gate in the north, uh, kind of northwest part of town towards Vineo City. Cool. All right, so um, you two... Actually, everyone make a perception check for me as you're beginning on the road and going to travel. 11. 12. 22. 19. Oh. All right. We are riding the horses, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, you know. I can't see anything out of that. <laughs> my costume. Yeah, as you, yes, especially as you're riding along, the sheet is just like going everywhere. Yeah. It's almost impossible <laughs> We're to We're having a good it. time. Um, what'd you roll, Gideon? Uh, 12. 12? 
Um, yeah, it's, you know, the horse head kind of having to pull back a few times here and there <laughs> as it's coming down over your eyes, but, you know, not bad. Um, so yeah, no, you guys, you guys have a well, well-worn watch <laughs> as you're riding your horses down the road. Um, Sweet. So yeah, so, you know, it's probably about, um, half a day's ride to get to the bridge where you've been before, and then probably another, about the next half of the day to get to the bridge. Um, so as you take off from the main town, uh, you just see... The open road in front of you, there's the, the windy wood trees on either side of the path. Um, the leaves are a nice golden yellow and red color now and falling to the ground. Kind of at the front gate, you see two huge pumpkins um, carved to welcome and to welcome and wave goodbye to those coming and going. So. That's so nice. That's so sweet. <laughs> all right. So, um, so, yeah. So for all you know, you have a good amount of time on your travel for so what... Would you like to do anything on your travel? Um. Mm. Well, I have my bagpipes. <laughs> I could play some of those. Why did you fix those bagpipes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. That's the only thing that I can think of to do right yeah. now. You first, and I'll play my flute. Sweet, sweet. Okay, I'm going to roll gonna for do it. Do a duet. Roll in performance. <laughs> we could, mm-hmm. Hey, that's a 17 plus 7, so nice. 24. All right, yeah, you... After after having some troubling starts with your bagpipes, <laughs> um, you've you've learned how to manage them now, and yeah. you perform a solid tune <laughs> on nice. the bagpipes. That's what I like to hear. <clears throat> um, as the horses from your performance actually pick up a little bit of speed. Yeah, so, yeah. good job. Energized. That's actually, I like it so much. That was very nice. This Gideon. is why I fixed Thanks. the bagpipes. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Gotta let me have my fun. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Enabler. Okay, I'm gonna play my flute. Uh, that would be 15. 15. Um, a solid flute tune is produced. Um, Good. You don't see any quite increase in horse speed as That's much okay. as some of the bagpipes, but you know, it's it's a solid flute tune. That's as the you, best I've played. As you so. join your companion from across the horse on a flute tune, kind of mm. a, a merry march ride down the path today. You could be mistaken for a, a merry, merry band <laughs> um. that kills people. Did you say that yes. after they get to know? <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't I worry about it. It's fireballs from my hands. <laughs> God. That's true. All right. Um, so yeah. So the first, um, first part of the day uh, goes by without any anything quite eventful. And as as kind of you're leaving the town, the last thing you can see kind of is some some of the hills with some of the some like the local farming. And some of the scarecrows kind of fading into the distance. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, there is uh, no traffic on the road today, as most people are kind of probably staying in for the festival, um, getting down. So yeah, the first part of the day until you reach the bridge is uneventful. Um, but you do reach the bridge, and you can take um, your horses. We're probably going to break by this point. As you're in mm-hmm. a pretty solid gallop now. Um, and with your guys' perception, you don't see there is no no owlbear underneath the bridge or anything <laughs> like that. Um, we are, <laughs> the horses will need a break for at least okay. a little bit here. Okay. That's fair. Sweet. Awesome. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so you guys kind of lead them down to the small, small brook, um, and the horses have a drink. Um, so yeah, the horses kind of need like a short rest, basically. Okay. So, okay. Um, is there anything you like to, to do here, um, for the hour, I guess, or can you continue on? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I you got anything you want to mm. do? I'm just chilling by yeah. the horse that I don't have. I am a horse. Same. Yeah. I am just being a horse. <laughs> That's it. Just chilling. <laughs> Roll a deception check. What? <laughs> Wait, who? Guess who? Them? The forest? That is literally... 14 plus 7, that's a 21. Okay. 21. You, the horses take you in as one of their own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As, as you kind of, you go up and practice your mimicking, um, you kind of like use your acting technique to uh, to become one. And <laughs> there you go. The horse, as you kind of pretend to like dip your head into the lake to drink in <laughs> the stream. I am one of them now. <laughs> Yes. They will come to my aid in battle. <laughs> That's good to know. I will also help them if they need it. We are a pack. That you are. Packs of horses, yep. Pack of horses. <laughs> what is a pack of horses for? Hard. Hard. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. The horses. Um, here, I gotta take this off. <laughs> Who is this man? No, I can see. Hooray. Who is that? What? <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> oh. I thought you were the. Bone, the bone man. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I and. I the bone man. <laughs> the bone man has been the DM the whole time. I don't know who what? you are. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I'm actually the man with no bones now. No bone man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> A natural profession. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, oh, okay. We'll, we'll failed work. the performance check. <laughs> <laughs> you failed your phrasing check. Uh, <laughs> phrasing. <laughs> All right, uh, the horses are ready to. <laughs> the horses are ready to take off again okay. after okay. your companion has bonded with them. Yeah. Um, you guys take off again. So, All right. um, can I get um, you guys to roll perception for me again? Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. All right, and one of you guys as well try oh, it. And eight. A uh, fox, oh. you have disadvantage because you missed. Gosh it. dang. <laughs> um, Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. Uh, yeah, seven. All right. Cool. So, <laughs> yeah, the sheet's not helping much with your vision. Oh, it's fine. On the horse. So, <laughs> it's almost a little scary. As like you're almost like kind of like you literally can't see. Anything. That's fine. I trust y'all. Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, you guys take off. Um, the first hour is uneventful. Is kind of like going down this new stretch of road, as the kind of the path starts to kind of curve down more towards the south now. Actually, curving down. Um, so the first hour passes, but up, uh, upon um, the hour, you two in the front actually see kind of up ahead, well, you hear there is kind of the growling of a wolf. Hmm. Hmm. Do you hear that? What's going on, guys? There's I something. communicate with the horses and ask what's going on. I'm going to take off my sheet. This is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to keep the horse on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that, guys? <laughs> I think I hear wolves. Yeah, I hear, I hear a wolf as well. Yeah. Just a wolf? I uh, think so. Hmm. Which one of you is right? I this think it's a big just a difference. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> we should be careful. Though. I don't want to yes. know you, if it's not a wolf. <laughs> you were unsure from your perception whether if it was one or more. Oh. Mm. oh. Right. I can beat up a wolf. Hmm. <sighs> I'm sure you could. <laughs> she is a horse, so. I'm a horse. <laughs> you can oh. turn into a wolf, right? I can, but I mean, only for an hour, so it depends oh. on like what you want to have. Hang out with them. Well, if, if wolves come by, can out. you convince them to like not try to kill us? Well, yeah, I've got several options there. I can speak to animals, so we'll try that first. <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, you can try that. I'm a diplomat. Yeah, you can be a diplomat to us. <laughs> if you can speak to animals, why were you so bad with that horse? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> just, just, yeah, wait a minute. It's head of oh, That is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I am the worst druid to ever druid. You know, it was a lot happened the day before. You had there was a lot of your mind going. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So, you know. There was, there was stuff happening. So, um, as you as you ride a little bit further, you kind of come over come over a small hill. You can actually see um, you see you see one wolf, but there is a wolf kind of growling at this what looks to be kind of a hunched over like smaller figure on the ground on the path up ahead. Mm -hmm. Can I make like a oh no like oh, any sort no. of check? Yeah, make a perception check to okay. try to see exactly that what's going on. Oh, nat 20, so 22. All oh, right. baby. Uh, make your little mark if yeah. you don't have one quite yet. Um, so, yeah, with your natural 20, um, using kind of your natural half-elf superior vision, um, yeah, you can see up ahead there is actually um, a young high-elf woman kind of like hunched over on the ground cowering before this wolf that is growling at her. Uh -oh. And you're about, um, you're probably about like 200 feet away. Uh oh, guys, uh, there's a person in danger up there. Um, she's a Ooh. high elf, Ooh. so uh, I think we should assess the situation. She might be in danger. All uh right. -huh. Yes. Unless agreed. this, if this wolf is angry. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, so I'm gonna rush up. You do uh, continue to hear kind of this growling of a wolf, like as the wolf kind of bears its fangs. At her. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of ride up and get off my horse because I don't want my horse getting into the. Wolf action, if there is any wolf action. All right. 
Don't kill my friends. <laughs> my friends. The horses are my friends. Yeah. <laughs> so I get off the horse. Okay. And I, yeah. You get off the horse. Probably about 100 feet back. We'll say. So yeah. The horse is safe. So I've told all my group members about right. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the woman has yet to seem to notice you. Is going on. Oh, I'm just gonna say it, like. Oh wait, I'm gonna message her. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Please. I don't want to. Text. <laughs> <laughs> just real quick. Hold on. <laughs> wait, what's your number? Let's see. Hey, I, hey, I, hey, I you see you're it. in a sticky situation, lol. LMAO, you need some help there. What What would you do if I was there? (laughs) You're too sexy to die. No, don't die. You're too sexy. (laughs) Okay, so you message the woman. I'm going to message the woman. Slide the DMs. You get back um, panicked, cryy face (laughs) emoji. (laughs) Um, I'm going to send a very calming calming message. I believe, what's the range on message? Is it 60? Uh, Message. uh, (laughs) Can you perceive emojis over your (laughs) message? A oh message is 120 feet. Oh, okay, oh. so yeah, you're you're good then at 100 feet. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, what what message do you send her? It's like, hello, I'm. Uh, don't be scared. I'm right behind you. I'm, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> Might want to rethink what? that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're just trying to assess the situation there. Here, are you in? Any, are you in any danger? Well, bad. Well, bad. Um, <laughs> you see the woman on the ground kind of like starts like uh, like kind of trying to look behind her as much as possible without uh, looking too too far away from the wolf. But you hear back, um, who who are you? Um, I, uh, uh, yes, uh, please please help I'm me. I'm a fellow elf just like yourself. Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, yes, please help me. This wolf is attacking me. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> All right. Nice nice moves. <laughs> <Some> moves. <laughs> What? Um, yeah, just trying to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, for sure. So okay, so yeah, that's the. So what do you do? All right. Um, is it? Did anybody walk up with me? Or am I? Yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah. You, you ah, guys, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's all yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. dismount your horses a hundred feet, and you're all mm-hmm. on the ground. Yeah. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You, okay, you, guys. Yeah. She seems like she need to get her out of this. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. Let's go. She is a fellow elf like us. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not like Gideon. <laughs> yeah. Stupid elf. I agree. Pointy eared. Yeah. Careful now. Okay, now. Uh, <laughs> Good right. one. Yeah. So, so you guys are a hundred feet away from the so, woman and the wolf. Okay. I slowly advance towards the, <clears throat> All right, the, the um, woman and the wolf. Yeah. As a, how far up do you want to get to it? I want to get up to like thirty feet. Thirty feet. So as you slowly advance to thirty feet, um, the wolf just continues to kind of bear its fangs, and you can hear. From the area, the wolf um, making like, like growling sounds and various things at the wolf, or at the woman. So I can see the wolf. Like the wolf is in front of the woman. Yeah, I'm assuming. So the woman okay. kind of has her back to you right now. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you, you slowly make you slowly make your way up 30 feet away, and the wolf has not yet moved. Hmm. Okay. Yo, Falks, my dude, can you, you talk to that wolf? Yeah, you can talk yes. to the wolf. Gonna try. <laughs> I want to see what it what it wants. Yes. I roll a natural one. Okay. Um. Oh. So I'm going to. Uh, Attempt to like call off the wolf and be like, "Hey, calm down. It's okay. You don't need to do this." Um, and ask it like, "What's wrong? What's up? <laughs> What's up?" All right. Um, seventeen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seventeen. Would it be persuasion? Um, animal handling. Animal handling. Please be <laughs> animal handling. Yeah. Well. Deception? So. So we'll just say so yeah so it's you rolled a seventeen yeah so so speaking Acrobatics. your um either way it's good yeah yeah, yeah like we're good speaking yeah. your animal language uh, Sylvian I believe mm-hmm. um you try and communicate to the wolf and yes like hey what's what's going on what's happening mm-hmm. um so and you guess you like kind of shout this basically to you thirty hey! feet away. <laughs> uh, Yo! you're thirty feet away yeah um and as you listen back you actually you can't understand what the wolf is doing the wolf it seems like um like you're just it's just a bunch of like gibberish jabble that okay. doesn't sound like normal wolf language to okay. you there's something up with this wolf it's not in its right mind hmm. roll an hmm. insight check oh boy um 13 13 uh it's you know you're not quite able to like Figure out exactly what's going on, but you okay. know something's weird with the right. wolf. It's not, it's not speaking normal normally. Okay. Mm. 
something's d- definitely up, at least with that wolf. Mm-hmm. You mean it's not even talking back to you? No, it's like gibberish. It's not fluent at all. Mm-hmm. Fluent. I have no idea what it's trying to say or even thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's get it. Well, let's yeah. get it. <laughs> it might just be better it. to get rid of it now. It's probably suffering. You have a short bow. <laughs> I do have a short bow. My range. It's my Wait, turn. Uh, Can I roll initiative? Yeah, you are in range. Um, you just want to take a shot at it? Yeah, I want to take a shot. Uh, yeah, roll I to hit, hit the it. lady. Hopefully you don't hit the lady. Um, 8 plus 5 is a number, 13. Yep. 13. Um, yeah, so as you let out a shot from your short bow, your arrow goes tung, tsh, soars towards the wolf. And as it hits the wolf, the arrow goes through the wolf. Oh. And the wolf just kind of like turns into mist. Tsh, and disappears. That would be it. Hey, you see that mm. shot? That was pretty good, huh? <laughs> that was a good one. Um, <laughs> good shot. Something tells me it didn't go away for completely. Yeah, that was so yeah, good. And guard. the wolf um, disappears, and the, the sounds of the wolf kind of die away. Hmm. That's a really advanced illusion. Uh, right? The woman kind of yeah. looks up, surprised, like, what? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Ghost <Hello>. wolf. <laughs> it's me. Um, I, messaged your, I messaged you not too long ago. Um, yes, uh, is she turns around, all of you now see <laughs> this um, very fair-looking high elf young lady. Uh, she looks very shaken, just kind of shivering like, uh, hi, <laughs> thank you. Is, uh, oh, hi. Is, um, w- what's going on here? You okay? Um, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, I, was just, I was just traveling and the wolf came up to me. And as she's talking to you, you hear... Um, a noise from behind you. Oh, good. We love those. We, yeah, uh, those are always good. I, uh, turn around. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> turn around. Uh, yeah. Step one. Yeah. As you turn around, there are three um, scarecrows walking towards you. Oh, <laughs> oh that's terrifying. Oh. No, thank uh, you. I, I don't really want to confront that if we have to. <laughs> I want to go touch one. Hold on. Go um, take what is it made of? Can I take its head? Yeah, because question, I can make a, I can, like, we can throw flames at it. We can just set them on fire. Uh, why don't you all roll initiative? Oh! Right? These, uh, Spooky Scarecrow's 19. Oh, no. <laughs> Eight. Uh, uh, 12. Nine. Not rolling all uh, the way. Me first. Me first. I want to okay, Gideon. Head. Down. <laughs> the source of its power. I don't know. <laughs> I want, oh. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, and then let's roll. These guys, oh crap! Okay. That's good. <laughs> the natural twenties are gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So twenty-five to twenty. Uh, twenty or twenty to fifteen. Yep, nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, fourteen to ten. Oh my god, twelve. Twelve. All right. And then, so um, nine to five. Yes. Nine. I got eight. Nine. Eight. Okay. <clears throat> and then they rolled a three, and the woman <laughs> rolled a four. So. Uh, uh, not the best. Very slow scarecrows, I mean. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's good. It's okay with me. <laughs> Isn't it the scarecrow that doesn't have the brain? Yeah. Yeah. They don't have or, brains. Or bones. Yeah. Well... So yeah, so as, you, not yes. think about as you turn around, these three scarecrows <laughs> that are kind of like covered, covered in like these kind of ragged clothes, and then you see their hands are kind of made out of this sharp looking straw that kind of seems to be like moving kind of in and out and, and like inside of it as well. And then its Ooh. head is like this bag with slits for eyes, and then just kind of a big black opening for a mouth with kind of like jagged lines. And then inside the eye slit, you see like two glowing red eyes. I want to take the eyes. Can we name this episode Nightmare Fuel? <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare. Nightmare. Right, go. As, um, dream. Yeah, all three of them kind of turn towards you. You know, <laughs> it's unpleasant. Oh. It's always a good sound to hear from Yeah, monster. yeah, that's what you um, want. They do not seem friendly. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I can't oh. talk yeah, to them? Yeah, but these monsters smell. do seem like they are <laughs> weak to fire. Yeah, that's a big um, question. Yeah, as they are kind of approaching you from behind, kind of from like off of the road, coming out of the, seem to be coming out from the trees. How far away are they? Um, they're currently um, probably about 20 feet away from you guys. Oh, Ooh. okay. That's really, that's a lot that's closer good. than I thought. Yeah. They were pretty well on their stealth check coming up from you guys. Ugh. 
Hmm. Well. All right. Um, so yeah. Gideon's so turn. Gideon, it is your turn. Um, I would like. They're about twenty feet away, right? Yes. Okay, sweet. Um, I'm gonna. Hmm. I kind of just want to like wild out and go try to get him with my daggers. Uh, All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. There he goes. Um, <laughs> go for it. Wow! Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so they're currently standing, like, kind of like one's a little bit in front of the other two right now. Kind of in yeah, V I'm formation. Not that one. Standing in front. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, as you run up to it. Um, yeah, go to, go to hit with your first dagger. Um, 14. 14? 14, uh, 14 hits. Yeah, nice, as you so bring your dagger, just kind <laughs> of through the rag and close and kind of just like <laughs> and rips through. Uh, yeah, roll for damage. So it's a d4. It's uh, right there by your hand. What? It was on the underside of the lake. It was being hidden by the curve of the plate. It's in the plate. What? Oh, Quality my God. content. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, you don't need to. Woohoo. Well, that's a one. Um, plus your dexterity. Plus three, four. Four. So, um,. And as you bring your dagger through the cloth, it actually doesn't deal as much damage as you thought it would. Mm. As um, as the scarecrow doesn't really seem to be, it seems to be about half as effective as normal. Oh. That's, mm. so. well, you tried, kid. Well, it was a good crack. It was a good crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to, I guess it's my turn, right? Yes. Um, yeah. Brent, it is your, well, um, do you want to do anything for your bonus action? Uh, yeah, bonus action. I don't know. <laughs> so you still have, we'll say, about uh, ten feet of movement left. Um, I'll hop away. I like, I, I okay. definitely, I'll like shout back and so, be like, so you can bonus action. So you can bonus action disengage, right? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, because you can't, you couldn't do this unless you did that, right? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so you bonus action disengage and then move ten feet back, kind of towards your group. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, all right, Bryn, it is your turn. I'm gonna cast a fire bolt. At all them. right. Yeah. Which one are you trying to hit? There's the one in front and the two in the back. Well, I guess the one that's closer. All right. So, yeah, the, and he was slightly damaged by mm -hmm. her dagger. 17. 17 mm -hmm. hits. Sweet. Uh, roll for damage. That's a d10. Six. Six points of fire damage. Um, and so your fireball kind of goes straight into the chest of the scarecrow, and it seems to be very effective as it deals twice as much damage as it normally would. All right, fire is very important. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> As it deals 12 damage to the zero. Nice. Oh, my God. So does it, like, um, catch fire and stuff? It or? does not catch fire, um, but you do hear the scarecrow kind of go. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's got a cough. You need a cough drop, but it is flu season. <laughs> How is Eve is in the middle of flu season? Um, Get your shots. And <laughs> all, all three kind of angrily turn towards you. <laughs> Um, Wait, one of y'all wizard types. I want to. Can you roll an Arcana check on it? Because I want to see what's making these guys tick. Uh, like, are they yeah, just? Good, oh, this is a fun. It would not be me. Um, like, guess roll, I a, roll a history check. History check. Oh. Or roll Arcana or history. We'll say which Ar one. Well, Arcana is better than okay, history. Yeah. Roll, roll an Arcana check. Yeah. I am bad at both. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Um, we'll say from. Say, you don't. You're not really. Magic kind of come naturally to you, so you're not as studied as other wizards might be. Um, but we will say, you can guess that um, this is some sort of like, um, another magician has kind of like trapped some sort of like magical presence into these inanimate objects, mm. and that is what makes them tick. Mm. So it is, it is usually, it's usually another magic user who has done this to a scarecrow. There's another strong magic user around here. Mm. <clears throat> That's fun. All right, uh, <laughs> Peleus, it is your turn. All right. Um, hmm. Can't really do much damage with fire, so I guess I'll just do my classic with the quarterstaff. Yeah. All right, uh, you run up. So there is the one in front that's been well damaged, mm -hmm. uh, and the other two in the back. Which one do you run up to? Uh, one that's well damaged. All right, we're up to the one on the front. Yeah. Um, so yeah, 
Yeah, they can attack with your quarter staff. Uh, twelve. Twelve hits. Oh. Okay. So uh, roll an attack. Roll, roll damage. Yes. Nine. Nine points of damage. Um, it is. <clears throat> so these are uh, re- resistant. So these are resistant to anything. So piercing. Um, bludgeoning, slashing from non-magical attacks, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what they are. So a nine is reduced then to four. Okay. So you deal four points of damage to it. I'm really not in my element here, guys. <laughs> guys, I have an idea. <laughs> I have Before fire bombs. Just disengage. What? So if oh, yeah. Wait, doesn't oh. someone have, like, uh, the alchemy fire? Well, I have yeah, to go disengage. Guy. Well, Jeez. I have fire bombs. Uh, yeah. So we spend a key point to disengage. Uh, you do have a punch. Well, so yeah. It, what, yeah. So yeah. okay. So if your bonus action, you spend a key point to disengage. Yes. So yeah. I would say, all right. for all of your guys' actions, you should disengage and get out of a general area. So when I get to my turn, <clears throat> I can throw a firebomb, and then they can. It sounds good to me. It sounds good to me. <laughs> area damage. All right. So yeah, um, you disengage um, quite stealthily <laughs> as the scarecrow in front of you tries to kind of bring its like kind of hay straw <laughs> hand like towards you and tries to rake at you, but you dodge it and get out of the way. Yes. Cool. Um, and move back to, or uh, you move, well, 10 feet back to kind of where Gideon is right now. Yes. Hello. It's oh. <laughs> <laughs> pretty All right. crazy. Uh, right? Yeah, right. Folks, it is your so turn. Okay, much. I'm going to produce flame and then <laughs> throw it at the Same. damaged one. All right, yeah, okay. roll an attack roll. Look, I'm yeah. go. You nine. go, guys. Nine. Over here. Um, <laughs> nine does yeah. not hit it, sadly. All the time. And Scarecrow <laughs> just kind of takes That's a step back um, All right. as the flame kind of <laughs> goes under the ground. Goes, pew. Well, today's a good day. I'm going to go back with them. I'm going to disengage. Um, oh, well, you're not tor- oh. you're not. Oh, I'm not. You're, I didn't... you're 30 feet away. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's right. They're just, they're like, they're, sorry, no, you're 20 feet away. Yeah. They're about 10 feet away from you. Okay. And 20, 10, 20 feet away from, you know, I'm good. So, you're, yeah, you're standing with Bryn right now. Um, all right, um, it is the woman's turn behind you. And the woman, she kind of like screams, like, ah! Uh, okay. It's like, what the hell move. are those things? Um, save me, please! Thanks. That's uh, good work. Good yep. job. <laughs> um, and she's going to kind of like run up behind you two to kind of hide behind you guys. Or not, we'll do our What's best. <laughs> Can't oh, guarantee sucks. anything. <laughs> All right, um, but it is the Scarecrow's turn now. Okay. Um, and the one. Scarecrow. The one Bren that uh, you damaged, it's going to look at you, and one of its eyes is going to glow red as it kind of squeals. <laughs> um, please make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, boy. Wisdom. Yes. I'm always doing these. As you feel, is this a d20? Yes, this is a d20, and then it's the top, yeah. it's the box above your skills. It is the saving throws. Uh, like, oh, okay, I see it. So, yeah, so the one that says wisdom. Yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. You save. Sweet. As you um, you feel as your kind of your vision starts to go dark around the edges and kind of like come tunnels in as all your all you can see is almost like the face of the scarecrow, but then um, so that you're able to kind of shrug it off and your vision comes back as you almost felt like this magical dark power trying to like um, hold you down, but mm. you shrug it off. All right, these guys are mad scary. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good to know. Good. Um, yeah, they just tried to they just tried to mind warp me right there. So. So, so yeah, but um, the two behind the front one are gonna come up and come towards you guys. Um, oh, hello. Yeah. And oh, so one for no. each of you guys. So that's fun, and they're both gonna take two attacks against you guys. Oh my God. Okay. So we'll go against uh, Gideon first. Sweet. Um. That is a nine, which I don't believe hits. Definitely not. All right. The second, <laughs> they're using a different dice now. Oh, no. Um, all right. Natural 20. There we go. <laughs> Roll again. <laughs> Roll again. <laughs> <laughs> they were both against me? Yes. Roll oh. again. I mean, there's the other one gets... Oh, so you're right. Roll okay. again. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, as you uh, try to change fate. <laughs> if you get another natural 20, I'm right. just going to say... Using, using, I'm, Gonna make you change it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a lucky feat, so she can actually make me roll again. I know. I did. So, uh, well, this one's a eighteen, uh, but it's not a natural yeah. twenty. So, still hits, but uh, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's warranted. Is it? <laughs> um, oh, nice. Um, that doesn't sound good. Seven points of slashing damage. Oh. 
Why did you say nice to that? Because <laughs> I rolled a four and a d4. So. Oh my god. It's, it's fun yeah. for me. Four. Uh, what's 22 minus seven? Um, 15. So, and I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Me? Yes. Oh my god, I'm not smart. Oh, well I did get a 16. Uh, you save. Um, as you feel kind of this dark energy come through, as this kind of the, the straw hand kind of rakes into your arm, you feel dark energy kind of try and come into your body, but you're able to shrug it off. So. Woo! <laughs> good time. As it tries to like kind of feel like go into your mind, and like all you can start thinking about is like how scary this Scarecrow is. But you, uh, you're that like, is... it's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Scarecrow, <laughs> scare. Scare. All right. Scare. Uh, Paleus, the one in front of you, will take its two attacks against you. Okay. Um, that is a 15 to hit. 15? Oh, yeah. 16. You 16. So it misses. Yeah. All right. Just bear. Uh, the second one uh, misses as well. Um, as with the first one, you kind of use your staff to deflect the straw hand, and the next one you kind of just sidestep away. All right. Um, but the. The one that looked at you, Brynn, will kind of run past you guys and is going to run up to you. Cool. So. Did it ever use up its turn? To... Uh, it just looked at you, so that okay. was its movement. So it doesn't do anything, but it just kind of stares at you, and kind of like with its mm -hmm. body, it just kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. this guy. <laughs> really fun. <laughs> See the grand party. Really fun. All right. Um, so yeah, we bring this back to Gideon's turn. Oh my god. You have okay. a scarecrow staring into your face and soul. <laughs> and so soul. I don't have any magic. Well, I don't have any fire. Well, do yeah. I? No. See, I I, part of me feels like I wish I could like light their bows on fire. Yeah. Like their arrows on fire and be able to... And they were able to like shoot them. But that, I feel like that would take up my turn as well. Yeah. Which would be... Because it doesn't, doesn't quite work with firebolt. Oh well, with your alchemy fire though. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Someone has but fire I could throw, somewhere. But I could throw my. Uh, yes, I'm gonna is, do that later. It on. It's Gideon's turn. <laughs> yes, it's Gideon's turn. So Gideon, what would you like to do? Uh, <laughs> do something, boy. <laughs> can I just like run away, <laughs> disengage? You can disengage and run away. Yes. Do a little counter. Can I do that and then? You can run thirty feet away and then shoot an yeah, arrow at it. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. Okay. Um. So yeah, so you can kind of like you can, can kind like of run off the road towards the woods a little bit, ah. and then uh, do that. So, okay. I'm hurt. I'm injured. So yeah, Ouch. so you uh, kind of <coughs> in the same way Paleus did, and kind of dexterously dodge as it tries to claw at you as you get away. Um, yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'd say uh, you can shoot the one in front of Paleus now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll take a shot of that. All right. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen hits. Woo! Uh, and you get your sneak attack damage because an ally is within five feet of it. Ah ha 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 ha! Okay, that's gonna be a twenty-six. Plus, plus two more. Two d so three d six. Yep. Five plus six plus four is fifteen. So fifteen plus your dexterity. Plus my dexterity, which is plus three, which is eighteen points. Of damage. So eighteen points of damage reduced to nine. Uh, uh, still a good amount of damage. That is not bad. That is not bad. All right. Uh, so yeah, for, for the first time, this scarecrow is being damaged. Um, yeah, it takes it takes a good hit. Um, we'll say the scarecrow in front of you, Bryn, um, is um, bloody. I say fair to say that before. So he's not looking great as he's got straw kind of sticking out of some of his wounds right. and a large burnt patch in his middle. Well, this one that's very aggro at me, I'm going to, I'm far away enough, I'm going to throw a firebomb at it. All right, yeah, make a, make a, just roll a, d, roll a d20 and mm -hmm. add your dexterity modifier to it. My dexterity modifier, which is, yeah, nothing. <laughs> yeah. 13. 13. 13 hits, yeah. As you take out one of the vials of the alchem um, alchemist fire and you kind of just throw it at the scarecrow in front of you. Um, it hits the scarecrow and it bursts into flames. Nice. So he will take a d4 of fire damage now and at the beginning of each of his turns. And you roll that? I, uh, I roll that, yes. Yeah. Um, if you Actually, why don't you roll that? You roll that. I'm never good at the d4s. <sighs> One. So increase the two. So it takes two points of damage. Um, he's on his last legs now. Yeah. All right. Um... Paleus, it is your turn. Mm. So there are two of them in front of you. Yes. Mm. 
Okay, how close are they? I mean, they're five feet away from you, so they're next to you. Then mm -hmm. um, the people, so that your allies are 10 feet. Falks and Bren are 10 feet away from you this way, and then um, Gideon is 30 feet away from you, kind of towards the woods off the path. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I had an idea, but I don't think it would work. Um, do it. Because it says I can't do damage technically, like with a fire, but I can light a torch, and I have a torch. You could try to set them on fire. Yeah, I was going to say, that's what I was going to do. Oh, my God. So, like, well, I take my that. torch, and I, with my elemental attunement, light the torch, and, like, okay. try to, like, slash at it. Yeah. Um, roll a d20 for me. Okay. What? Do I have any? Um... This is just going to be a flat roll. Ten. Ten. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm going to say, as you're trying to um, kind of stab your tor uh, torch into the scarecrow, um, it's kind of, it's just kind of going tss, 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 as you're kind of hitting the scarecrow, but it's not lighting. Ah, darn. And um, then I... It was a good idea. Yeah. I, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to do anything else? For, like, bonus action or something? Mm. Might as well try to punch it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> try to punch it. I'm here. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, 22. Well, 21. Yeah, that, yeah that'll <laughs> hit. <it. laughs> uh, seven. Seven. Uh, reduced to three. All right. Um, not quite uh, bloodied yet. But he's not looking not looking great. So. Okay. Um, so yeah, as you kind of punch into the the stomach of the scarecrow, and you just kind of hear like thunk, you hit the <laughs> straw. Like, well, <laughs> I tried, guys. Um, so the straw does kind of crack and break underneath your like powerful fist, like more than a normal person's punch would. But mm -hmm. still not great. Um, all right, folks. Let's do this again. Produce flame. See what happens. All right. Um, so there's one in front of you, and there's two in front of Paleus. The one in front of me is bloodied, right? Yes. It's pretty angry at us, though. Yeah, but it's like on fire right now, whereas the other two aren't. Yeah. I might go for one of the other two. All right. So there's yeah, there's one that's been damaged and there's one that's not been damaged. Go for the so the one on fire, it gets like damaged every single round or something? On or his round. Yeah. Okay. He'll get, so yeah. I'll go for the one that's damaged next to Peleus. All right. I'm going to roll again. Okay. <laughs> Using your lucky feature. Uh, yeah, fifteen. Fifteen, that hits. Yay! And then All right, um, roll for damage. One d eight. Three. Increase to six. All right. Um, he is bloodied. So as your uh, kind of the small flame in your hand <coughs> goes towards him, kind of hits him in the shoulder, and his shoulder kind of um, lights on fire, and kind of it does go out, so it's not like right, fire, but. but it does kind of burn off a large section of his shoulder and you kind of smell burnt straw. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, You're welcome. He does kind of turn towards you. Mm. <laughs> Made of many words. Lovely. Yes. Um, <laughs> True it poet. It doesn't <laughs> look like they can quite talk. Um, it's kind of like just like wind going through straw at a high velocity. Um, the woman kind of behind you guys is like sees the scarecrow come up and just kind of like huddles below, kind of terrified. <laughs> just like pat her on the head, like there, there. <laughs> <laughs> just don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right. Um, so it is that brings us to the scarecrow's turn. Um, Pale, hey, let's start with you. The scarecrow yes. to your left that has not been damaged yet. Um, he is going to look at you, and one of his eyes is, is going to glow. Mm. Uh, okay. Please make a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh-oh. Nine. Nine? Woo hoo <laughs> <laughs> No. As you look into his one red eye, and you're, you get kind of tunneled visioned, and you start to feel you, your brain kind of freeze up as this dark energy wraps itself around your brain, and you get become terrified, and you're so terrified you can't even move, as all you can think about is like, oh my god, I might, this scarecrow might kill me right now. Um, and so, you are now... Um, so you are frightened um, uh, until the scarecrow's next turn, and you're also paralyzed. It's <laughs> <laughs> not good. So um, being frightened means um, 
uh, you have disadvantage on ability checks. Um, so each of your turns, you get to roll an ability check to get out of this, which is disadvantage now. Um, and attack rolls while the creature you're afraid of is inside of you. Um, and you cannot willingly move towards the creature you're afraid of either. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what it is, baby. Uh, <laughs> nice. Um, so you are also paralyzed, which means you are incapacitated and cannot move or speak. Um, you automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws, and attackers have advantage, and any attack that hits and is made within five <coughs> feet of you is a critical hit. Whoa. How many, within how many feet of him? Five feet. So like the scarecrow right next this to This man is dead. <laughs> oh. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right. So, so yeah. So the scarecrow um, that did not make you afraid is going to try and hit you with advantage. So. <laughs> and if he hits, guys. it's a critical hit. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jeez. Cool. That's a really overpowered move they yeah, got right uh, there. Um, the first one hits. Yikes. <laughs> um, the second one hits as well. Can you re-roll that second one? <laughs> this man can't die. <laughs> I am all out of luck. <laughs> Spare luck, ma'am. Uh, what's your AC? Mine? Yes. 16? Uh, it misses. So. <laughs> I still have my armor class. <laughs> he rolls a 15. <laughs> 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 Even if you're paralyzed, so, you can like, hit your armor. So it's kind of just like I hit you twice. So, you know, fun for fun. Oh for boy. you? It's critical. It's he rolls 44 against you. God damn. Um, how much health do you have left? Oh, I have 21. You have 21. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, um, for now. I mean, it does it does deal 11 slashing damage to you. Fudge. <laughs> so, but, you know, you're fine. So. <laughs> he's still breathing. Yep. He's, he's chilling. Um, he's just paralyzed. I'm literally like, chilling. I can't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> literally chilling. He's vibing. I look over and I'm, that guy's vibing. Really hard right now. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try some yeah. of this. Stuff. As you guys just see, <laughs> Paleus for the first time freezes and doesn't move. And as the second scarecrow next to him, kind of with one of its like uh, straw hands, just kind of stabs into his body and tracks, and you don't even see him flinch or move. He takes out all of his bones. <laughs> <laughs> he puts him in. I have bones. <laughs> and then Take that, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and he has his bones. It was me, the bone stealer. The, the, the bone man. The bone man makes an appearance in the D campaign. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, uh, guys. All right. Uh, and then there's a scarecrow in front of Bren. So uh, the scarecrow in front of Bren is just going to try and attack him. Uh, but he does take a d4 to damage, so roll a d4 for me. Roll high. Come on, four. We, we, we need a four. Ah, no. Oh. Are you I don't know. the one this time? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> One. Okay, it was two points of damage. Why are you as... laughing? I just, I'm, well, I'm so I'm... bad at these D4s. They are like the my Funny. least favorite die in this they entire. Really, they feel okay. awful. Yeah, yeah, they do. He's very... on the verge of falling I can't apart. Find him. Okay. Uh, um, Does he have some sort of disadvantage <laughs> since he's so damaged? <laughs> <laughs> like he's, he's, he's on fire. <laughs> I mean, this guy. You are getting like stabbed by straw on fire. So there's not an advantage. So yeah. look at it that way. <laughs> I guess so. Um, so, but yeah, the fire, uh, the alchemist fire that's burning on the scarecrow kind of burns more, kind of burns into him. Is almost, like his torso is almost completely gone and burned away now. But and this guy just, like, not be going. Hanging on by a few strands of straw inside of his body. Um, he's going to try to claw you. Um, he has two attacks against you. Um, and then... Only one hits, because your AC is 11 now, now, right? Oh, is it? It is. Wow. You, you have your cloak. Yes, Big. you have cloak of protection. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Both Man, miss, because right <laughs> he rolled a 9 and a 10. <laughs> wow. So, um, <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened yeah. in my character. <laughs> so, yeah, as um, his first um, kind of hand goes towards you, Kind of just like all like barely sidestep it, and the second one like just barely nicks the cloak of protection onto you. Oh man! So barely getting can't you. get me. <laughs> all can't right, touch this. Gideon, it's your turn. So I am chilling. Well, this guy's chilling. Yeah. Um, I will 
So yeah, there's there's one that's bloodied in front of him. The other one hasn't been touched yet. So I do want to take out the one that's bloodied just because kill count. Kill count. <laughs> you know, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I'll try the well, I'll try shortbow. I'll try it. I'll try All it. All right, go for it. Uh, 12 plus 5, 17. That hits. Uh, yeah. Roll damage with your sneak attack. So. Woo! 3d6. 2 plus 3 plus 1. 2 plus 6. 6. Plus? Dex tear plus 3 is 9. 9. So reduced to 4. Um, oh, my whole neck just popped. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I'm not trying to all right. Uh, so yeah, he is he is on his last leg. So wow. As your arrow just kind of like goes through his sack head and just kind of stays there. Nice. <laughs> uh, but he does his eyes kind of turns toward you and. This guy will not stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a little hot. Um, all right. So. Okay, uh, Brent, is your turn. Well, I'm gonna get this guy that keeps on trying to. Ruin my day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. All right. So firebolt the guy in front of you. Yeah, firebolt right this guy right in front of me. All right, go do, for it. Do I have like some sort of advantage that he's like right next to me? Well, Point so blank technically, range. if it's a ranged attack, you actually have disadvantage if it's right next to you. Because hmm. you're trying to like hit him at range while he's like in your grill, basically. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll just say because he's on fire, we'll just see you, your flat roll. So just flat roll. Okay. Fifteen. That hits. Yeah. Um, how do you want to oh, roll for damage? <laughs> yeah. Don't roll a one. <laughs> Please. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What'd you roll? I rolled a one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I'm, it is, but it is I'm increased, rolling it's so increased bad. increased to two. So oh, yeah. It is okay. dead. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. <laughs> as, uh, as just barely, this. as like you try and like bring your hand around to like get... Uh, like kind of like into like the burning spot like right where he is like you shoot a fireball and like shoots up his torso and like throws his head off (laughs) it just kind of explodes in the straw good job so we got one of them (laughs) yep first one's dead yeah um all right so yeah that leaves um paleus why don't you go wisdom saving throw for me with disadvantage oh there you go that was good Nineteen. We have to roll again and take the lower one. I know. Dumb. Oh. Nine. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, you remain paralyzed, sadly. Hmm. <laughs> I can't say anything, so... <laughs> <laughs> just mad vibing. You can just feel the anger. Just like... He just hasn't been moving very much. He's just taking the hits. <laughs> yeah, and this guy is really chilling. Is he, like, like he yeah, is he okay? Like, yeah, I hope he's okay. Yeah, he's fine. We're about to get vibe checked, so... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Roll a vibe check for me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. My third eye Two. I'm sorry, you can't go on the show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have been bad, Jack. Oh, it's been, it's been okay. good. <laughs> All right, uh, Falks, okay. it's your turn. Produce flame, and we're going to throw it at the one that <clears throat> hasn't been hit, right? Because there's the one that's... There's the one that's like almost it's on his last legs. So... <sighs> I'll hit the other one. you got okay. to start working on that one. All right. Uh... 11, yeah. 11? Yep. That hits. Woo! Okay. That's barely. <laughs> oh. Dang. Uh, 7. 7 points of damage. Increased to 14. So. Wow. That's a yeah, lot. As you take a large chunk, um, as you throw your little little fire, like, <laughs> right at the mouth of the scarecrow, and it, like, mm-hmm. kind of just goes straight into its mouth, yeah. and you see the inside of its head just kind of, like, catch, like, go on fire. <laughs> as fire, like, shoots from its eye holes and mouth. Um, nice Paleus, you are terrified even more now. <laughs> this, this scarecrow appears to have now like started breathing fire at you. Sorry, buddy. It um, was a cool shot, though. <laughs> it was. It was a good shot. Hey, yeah. woman, can you do something? Um, he is woman, on. Uh, he is bloody. He's bloody now. Can he be bloodied? Um, he doesn't have any uh, blood. As the woman yeah. just kind of looks over your shoulder, it's like. No, I can't do anything. What do you want me to do? Something. <laughs> what do you have? Uh, I'm not going to give you any of my equipment. I don't trust you. Well, I can't do anything. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> All right. 
And she, and she kind of says, go away. <laughs> yeah. To go away. Oh, the scarecrow. We're saving you. <laughs> to, the scarecrow, you. <laughs> to the scarecrow. To the scarecrow. Uh, yeah. The scarecrows do not go away. <laughs> Good try there. Exactly. Um, it is the scarecrow's turn. Oh. Um, all right. Well, the scarecrow, kind of with like the flame just now, kind of going out of its head. The one that you shot is going to look at you now, and yeah. its eyes going to glow red. Why do you make a wisdom saving throw? That's for a d20, right? Yes. It should be fine. 13 to 19. Yes. Uh, is, yeah, you started to feel your brain clench up, but just kind of, whoop, I'm okay. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> you basically, <laughs> you shot your brain at it. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other scarecrow is going to try and hit Peleus with advantage twice. Oh, boy. Um, really? <laughs> you have 16 AC. Yes. First attack misses. The roll is a 15. Whoo. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there we go. It rolled an after 20, so... Hey, <laughs> hey, can you stop that? Well, anyway. <laughs> um, My next turn will be healing this man. <laughs> probably. Yeah, you, it's up to you. I mean... <laughs> I'm not dead. I mean, you know... I'm out of luck, man. Like <laughs> You don't die right I know, right but... Away, but, I mean, okay. So, uh, you do take uh, 12 points of slashing damage. Well, I'm at zero. Okay, so you're unconscious. As you do see, um, again, Uh-oh. the scarecrow uh, just kind of fumbles with its first, um, sort of like, trip hit with itself. you, but then oh. finally does, kind of in the same spot, it put all of its straw before, tsh, tsh, and pulls it out, and you just see Peleus just kind of crumble to the ground. That's not good. He's, he's just vibing extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's fine. He's He'll get like back yeah, from beyond. Okay. He might be having a bad vibe. Maybe <laughs> just leave him. Um, <laughs> All right, um, that is the Scarecrow's turn. So Gideon, it is your turn now. Okay, I'm going to... I, I'll go for the one that just got back at this guy. <laughs> right here. All right. The one that hasn't been damaged? No, uh, no both of them have been... Oh. The, the one that just like took down Peleus uh, is on his last legs. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to go for that. Kill count. All right. Uh, kill count. Oh, I need to... Demar- no, I didn't... Did I kill it? No, I didn't. I did not kill it. You need to. <laughs> Please do. I was thinking about the last one. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this one, roll in for short bow. Fifth, a dirty 20. Dirty, that hits. Dirty roll for damage. 20. Just a normal damage, though, because Peleus is out, so you do okay. not have an ally next to it. <laughs> Dead ally. Uh, Unconscious. Four. His body's there. Does that count? Four points of damage. Um, plus your dexterity. Was that plus your dexterity? No. Uh, that would be seven. Plus seven. Six. Okay, thank you. That, take, that matters. <laughs> uh, so it takes three points of damage, um, which... Good thing you added, because it does um, another arrow joins kind of in a cross section of the head, and the scarecrow just kind of like goes and falls apart in the nice. in the straw. Sweet, <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, there's one scarecrow left standing by Peleus. Kill count. Uh, Bryn, you're up. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to shoot a scorching ray at it. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Oh uh, yeah, uh, it's roll three attacks <laughs> against it. Yeah, I just want to get rid of it. Get rid of these stupid fellers. All right. These fellers here. All right, seven. It's not gonna hit. Three's not gonna hit. Oh my gosh, Come on, man. so Come on. bad. From you get to add your <laughs> spell attack bonus. Oh, I do. <laughs> yeah. Go team. Okay, so yeah. spell attack bonus. Okay, so seven plus six, which is fourteen. So the first one hits. And then nine, and then a. Uh, so that one's not. So roll your third attack. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a 12. That will, that will hit. So I got two on him. So yeah, Ooh. so roll 46. Yep. It's going to die, folks. <laughs> Five, Five plus, so 10. Yes. <laughs> four. <Do we? laughs> How do you want to do this? I mean, okay, I got two and four. Yeah, okay. well, I'm going to do two more. All right, it's going to be dead. Got dead. Yeah. For the record. Uh, three, so I'll six. And then six, so really twelve. <laughs> All right. So yes, <laughs> as um, yeah. with the first two, like uh, with the first um, like kind of flaming sphere that hits it, um, the whole body kind of bursts into flames and kind of just starts slowly, kind of like burning down to the ground. And the like, the second one hits it and just and explodes <laughs> into ash. In ash, nothing's uh, cool. left. Yeah, it is. It is gone. Nice. Um, 
Let's see how Paleus is doing. <laughs> right. yeah. uh, you're not quite out of combat yet. I'm sorry, what? Um, <laughs> Paleus, make a death saving throw for me. Death? <laughs> Five. So you failed your first death save. <laughs> <laughs> this man's going to die for real. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, no. Folks, it is your turn. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Um, healing word. Okay. Um, 1d4. Where is that? Sounds good. Uh, 1d4. Plus my spellcasting modifier, which would be... So not that. It's just the wisdom modifier. Wisdom modifier, yeah. which would be... Uh, where is it at? It's a... Um, five. Five. So, you heal oh. for, so you're at five hit points. Yes. He's awake. <laughs> um, so you're awake. So you lose your death saving throw. Okay. So good job. Um, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, you're at five hit points. You're kind of lying on the ground and suddenly go. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm looking oh. down at you and I'm like, oh, hey, welcome back. Hey, how was your... You're not quite next to him quite what? yet. Oh. Dude, what? You're like oh. in the tree, like, like, how was your chill time, dude? <laughs> what? You were vibing. What happened? What? You kind of um, low-key went so unconscious. It's fine. Folks, after your turn, you hear the one behind you say, um, well, that didn't go too well now. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> um, you were a snake the whole time. Uh, what's your AC, folks? Uh, 15. 15? 15. Oh, she rolled a natural 20. What? <laughs> hey, I didn't want you to switch out those dice, sir. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Paleus, I know you have healing items. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, yes. All right. As you feel this sh um, sharp clawed hand come into your back, and hit your spine. Here we go. Oh my god. Um, how much health do you have? 20. Okay. That didn't sound good. <laughs> <Did you face? laughs> As it deals 19 points of damage. Oh! Hey, um, what? Stay alive. <laughs> as she buries her hand into your back. Oh my gosh. What now? Oh my gosh. slowly pulls it out. It steals your whole, all of your... Skeleton. There goes no. my Kennedy. It's a witch. <laughs> I'm like right next to her, right? Yeah. So oh as gosh. you turn back, yeah. you slowly see this transformation happen as this young, beautiful um, high elf lady transforms into a green skinned hag looking woman. A witch! <laughs> Okay. Um, I've always wanted to be a witch. With long, Gideon, you are too excited for this. She's turned her into a newt. Or a newt. You know, so we'll um, well, he right. got better. I don't know if I will. <laughs> he uh, got better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but that does bring us to Gideon. Gideon. I want to. As you hear your teammates scream in pain. <laughs> Make a charisma check to say hi to her. What are you doing? <laughs> what, what, she damaged her. Uh. what do you want to say? What's up? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, do you want her to do anything, or do you want um, to like, do you want to be on her team, or like what's what's happening? Get on her team. <laughs> I fixed your bagpipes for you. <laughs> Am I gonna have to kill Gideon as I well? Know. I wanted to try to like like make like. Be like like a like a, like a truce and be like, hey, are you serious? Why, 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 why are you she just stabbed that? her in the she back. Just stabbed it. She took my kidney, probably roll, some bones. Roll, roll <laughs> okay, fine. I'll roll, roll, a, roll a persuasion turbo. check. First one. Oh, I want. I mean, it's up to you. You can always try. Gideon. Actually, I just want to. Can I? I want to. I haven't done this before, but I really just want to cast a vicious mockery. Yeah. I have one spell that I got. I want to. I want to mock her. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> so. Oh, is this your ability? It's it's one that I got from leveling up. Um, I can just cast vicious mockery twice a day. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Casual, like you know. Um, I I would have to look through the spells more, but here. I, um, I the, I'm looking it up for you. The so. The witch has to make a wisdom saving throw. Right. Okay. And my attack bonus is two. Mock her to death. <laughs> I'm gonna get her. Um. <laughs> Uh, Do you she, even she, moisturize? She rolled a natural 20 on her wisdom saving throw. Hey, I didn't even roll yet. <laughs> okay, well, I might as well not even bother. So, well, what do you say to her? <laughs> yeah, what I'll do you say, say to her? This guy's rolled, like, so many 20s. 
I'm I'm heavy. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you want us to die? Yeah. Oh, God. I rolled really now. badly the last few sessions. Yeah, so that was good. Is, that was very good for me. Um. So what do you say to her? I say, look at you with that green skin. <laughs> what do you think you are, moss? <laughs> Good one. It does not what? land. <laughs> um, she just turned towards you and say, Oh, dearie. <laughs> I may be mossy, <laughs> but I do not dress as hoary as you do. <laughs> I'm like on the ground laughing. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> you right. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Well, that was my turn. So yep. I hope you, I hope you all enjoyed that. Okay, one. Brand, yeah, very much. Brand yeah. you're standing next to her. Oh boy. Um. Well, I'm not gonna try to talk my way out of this. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to do fun things. Uh, not get her. She just stabbed her <laughs> in the back. I am going Almost to die. Almost killing her. Uh, I'm never fixing your bagpipes again. <laughs> hey. Ugh. I liked Faust better. Oh. I'll put on my mask on and not be as cool and funny. <laughs> That's not, that doesn't sound good for me. <laughs> All right, Bren, what are you doing? Okay, well, I'm going to take up a... Yeah, I'm just going to go full full on aggression right here. I'm going to take up two of my th- oh. level one spell... Two of my level one slots Okay. To do, to do a level two spell. I can do that, right? Are I you thought can... you said I could do that. No, that's two sorcery points. Oh, two sorcery yeah, points. You can just use a second level spell slot to cast a second level spell. Oh, well, I'm gonna just do like two sorcery points. Two sorcery points then well, to do a level two spell. So, okay, so. Sorry. Or can I so, only do that when so I'm all my to, slots? So that's are to taken. regain a spell slot back. Yes. Yeah, so oh, it's Three okay. sorcery points to regain a second level spell slot. It's two sorcery points to regain a first level spell slot. Ah, I get it. And you have three currently. So, so yes, yeah, so you can just use a second level spell slot to cast a second level spell. Well, okay, well, I'll just do that then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot all three of my scorching rays at her. I'm on the ground like, yeah, do it, buddy. All right. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to. Be, this is while I'm flying in the air because I yes, can do that. Yes. As you clutch yeah. your green crystal, yeah. And the wind comes around you and raises you. Um, above Nobody her. stabs my human <laughs> friend in the back, especially when I'm we're trying to help. All right. Yeah. You lower your hand towards her, and three. The fire orbs come out of it. Roll three attacks. Don't Look at hit this me. This guy flying around with his fire. Okay, um, that's uh, that's eighteen. Eighteen hits. Um, sixteen. Sixteen does not. Wow. That's a, a powerful green lady. <laughs> and then uh, eighteen again. There's four. Eighteen. So yeah. So two hit. Um, yeah, as you see, so the first one kind of hits her in the side. She's kind of surprised, this flying <laughs> half elf person. So yeah, the first one kind of blasts her, but then the second one, she raises up her hand, and you see like this green clawed, like long finger in her hand. She almost like catches it and squashes it she, in like, her hand. Eats it. Um, nothing. She doesn't eat it, but she, oh. she basically <laughs> magic, magical herself, just kind of um, squashes it That's in her so hand. Sick. And then the um, but the second one does kind of go around and hit her on the other side. So, right. so roll of 46 fire damage. Maybe I just want a green five, model to, that lives in the world. I mean, okay, could so you pick a non-violet one? Five. All right. No. Four. Of course not. Okay. Three. Three. <laughs> two. <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's... Uh, two. <laughs> what? Hold on. Five. I rolled... Oh, wait. Because it's 2d6 per the hit. So. Oh, yeah, 2d6 per so, yeah. hit. Yes. So you don't, five, four, and three. Uh, 13 points of damage. Yeah, okay. Nice. I'm going to head sick for my head fights. All right. Um, the first two hit. Um, she's looking still okay. She's a, she's a tough old lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says, well, 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 we have another magic user, I see. Hmm. Mm, I'm going to... I'm gonna stay my ground because I got a really damaged friend over here. All right, <laughs> Thank so you, you. so you kind of raise into the air, and just kind of come back down next to her. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Um, Paleus. Okay. You're currently lying on the ground, just kind of looking at this all happen. <laughs> like. It's okay. not going How so How far hot. away am I from Falks? Um, from Falks, ten feet. <laughs> we kind of just make eye contact. Like. Okay. Sucks, well, then man. I drink. I drink the small vial. Um, Healing potion. Okay. 
So that's so that's your bonus action to do that. Um, so to get up, it'll be half your movement speed, but you have a lot of okay, movement yeah. speed. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so it's your bonus action to drink a potion. Yeah. So you still have, you have 35 movement or 45? Uh, 45. 45? So you still have like 22. So you can still get to her. Okay. Um, so if your main action, you can give someone... So to give someone a potion, to yeah. like force them to drink it, it is like your whole action. For yourself to drink a potion is a bonus action. Okay. I can I can so, heal myself, bud. You, you drink your potion. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be okay. Okay. Well, um, maybe not, so you drank, but... Did you drink a normal one or a major one? Big I'll just one. drink the normal one. Okay, that's 2d4 plus yeah. 2. Uh, ooh, 4. Nice. 4. 8. So, so 12. No, ten. Yeah, ten. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so take heal ten points of health. Nice. nice. All right. So, and how far away am I from her? Um, from her, like her? fifteen. Oh so no, like the the hag. Yeah. You can get to her. The hag. Yeah, it's fifteen. Nice to okay, she's I am still right there. Yeah, you're just kind of on the road, <laughs> beefing it out right now. Yo young man, you're going to be grounded when this is all said and done. <laughs> young man. I'm gonna stay away. And just throw a dart. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Roll to hit. That's okay with me. Like, at least he's contributing. Sixteen. Sixteen does not hit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's got the really crazy, really tough armor. Um, yeah, as the dart just kind of like hits her right in the forehead, but it kind of like breaks on impact and shatters. Yikes. So cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's so cool and green. This is cool. <laughs> All right. Um, God. Uh, Falks, it is your turn. Okay, I'm gonna use Cure Wounds on myself. All right. But I'm going to cast it at my second level. All right. Which means that I'll get two d8. So you touch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> the sexual innuendos. Oh, in that's the a show. Good, good, good. Okay, so plus. Episode today. <laughs> yes. So five. It's and just nine. added once for your modifier. Oh, so. Oh, uh, so. Nine. Nine. Okay. So you heal nine points health. Ooh. Staying alive. <laughs> and then, uh, can I, like, run away from this person? I um, don't want to be with him. So is Cure Wounds a major action? Um, like, is it, a, is it a bonus action or is it a full action? Does it say bonus action? I love oh, staying action. by my so, friend. So, yeah. You, Listen, buddy. So, <laughs> uh, um, so I'll be back. a disengage action would have to be your full action. So, you can't okay. just. You can move away. Yeah, I'll so have move a, a little bit. She can try to hit you if you move away. I guess I'm just going to stay here. All I, right. I cannot get hit again. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, because she basically gets like an extra attack. Right, okay. Um, all right. Um, it is the hag's turn. Yep. Uh, As she says. Uh, she turns to you as you say, heal, sees yourself heal up. It's like, oh, quite pretty, but I must deal with another for now. She um, brings her hand towards you, Bryn. Of course. You. I don't want to say thank goodness, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You got oh, this, buddy. She rolled a 19. Oh no. Well, that would hit most people. <laughs> <laughs> especially so at least, you. Especially, <laughs> I guess that makes. That doesn't make me special. How much? Um. It depends, because she might kill me in this hit. Uh, you know, not horrible. Um, just uh, 13 points of slashing damage. Oh, okay. Oh, a... That's fine with me, um, because of... Happy mm. Halloween! <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, like, I know you wanted to have a fun Halloween episode, man. <laughs> so, it's I'm at, gonna be riddled with... I'm at nine. <laughs> the nine. spookiest thing of all. All right, yes. Um, but that is her turn. So. All right. You're at nine? Yeah, I'm at nine. Bonus episode okay. where this was all a dream. <laughs> Please, <laughs> none of this happened. Spook, spook, and they wake spooky up. episode. We all had the same nightmare. Um, <laughs> sadly not. Gideon, <laughs> your turn. Oh, okay, okay. This time I'll take a shot. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Gosh. Contribute, <laughs> please. Um, I'll take a shot with my crossbow. Oh. Um, I'll just go for it. Um, well that's a ten. <laughs> Ten. That's a hit. Uh, it actually goes wide. It doesn't even hit her, sadly. Dang. Um, she doesn't really even notice you. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> uh, would you like to move at all? Um. So if you all, right so if you all four kind of gang up on her, all of your melee attacks do have an advantage. I do like that plan, but I also have fifteen points of damage. Actually, that's a lot. I'll go towards. Just say. <laughs> say they both had less. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'll go up. I'll run All up. All right. Run you up run to up her to her and be like, "What's up? What's up? How's she it going?" She kind of turns towards you. Hmm. Hmm. I'm like, "How's 
going. All right, uh, Bryn, it's your turn. All right. Huh. We are in a pickle. All right. I'm going to shoot a, a magic missile at her. Okay. Before. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you use first level spell slot. Um, you cut your green crystal. You do. The wind gathers around you. Again, how would you like to move yourself anywhere? Hmm. See, I feel like if she hits me again, I'm going to die. <laughs> Like literally. <laughs> <laughs> so you would go unconscious. Um, you you only get... you only die outright if she deals twice as much damage as your health in one hit. Well, that's a possibility. That is a possibility. <laughs> yeah. So it's up I, to you. I'm going to, and I can't I can't twin my spell when it's a magic missile, right? Correct. Yes. That's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> this man is full of baloney. <laughs> It is a, a D and D rule. <laughs> I'm sorry you think that's baloney. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. I'm going to go back a bit and wait for my party members to get back here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you move ten feet back with the yeah. wind carrying you. Yeah, and I'm going to shoot the magic missile. All right. Roll three D four. All right. Four. Nice. Four. Okay. Let's get another four. One. Okay. So each one gets plus one, so that would be 12 points of damage. Nice. Um, so being the only one to having been damaged her yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I killed two of the scarecrows too, guys. So, yeah. yeah. Bren coming on strong. <laughs> yeah. Um, she uh, still looking more damaged, but still still doing okay. Um, yeah. She says, uh, you're a little troublemaker, aren't you? Hmm. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> All right. Alias, it's your turn. All right. Well, time for me to do something. I'm going to use Fist of Unbroken Air. Okay. Let's go. Uh, yeah, as you bring your hands together, the wind comes in. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so she has to do um, uh, Strength Saving Throw. Strength Saving Throw. All right. Ooh, she's good at that. Oh, of course she is. She's so strong. She's um, a little She rolls a two and fails. <gasps> she's stronger nice. than the Dragonborn <laughs> that we tried to So it's to, 3d10 we... damage. Wow. Bludgeoning damage. Um, nice. Yeah, well, Alias is ten. back, boys. Hey, he is three, here. Three. <laughs> three. Five. Okay. And six. Okay. Um, so that deals 14 points of damage. And knocks her 20 feet away and prone. Nice. Okay. <laughs> this guy, this guy right here. <laughs> this guy, this just dude, got this man. <laughs> and now is dealing punches <laughs> left and He's right. He's got a bum to pick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, she kind of, she see her kind of just like this wind and the <clears throat> like form of a fist hits her um, and knocks her back. Um, yeah, she kind of just cackles on the way like, and <laughs> 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 hits the ground. Uh, a little harder than she thought she was going to. <laughs> she's like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was, she was she's flat on the ground. What? All right. This is great. I want to be. Uh, Falks, it's your turn. Okay. Um. So any ranged attack is now at disadvantage because she's prone. Right. Um, but any melee attack will be at advantage. And she's like right next to me. She's 20 feet away from you. Oh, okay. Well, she okay. Push back. So yeah, she kind of like flies down the road 20 feet and lands on the cobble. <laughs> I think I can make it. So I'm going to take a swing at her with my scimitar. All right, yeah. But I'm also going to drop the bear spirit totem. All right. So yes. everyone within 30 feet of it yeah, gets so plus 8. Everyone gets plus 8 HP now. What? Temporary? Temporary, Temporary. HP. Yes, oh this is important. My God. Temporary HP. Temporary. Yes, uh, as uh, folks runs up to her, takes out your kind of melted scimitar. <laughs> Here we go, baby. Roll with advantage. So I'm so, I'm so good at these. Ooh, okay, that was um, 17. That Solid. Hits. See if you get a critical hit. Ooh, Not 20. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All That's right. 20. So yeah, you run over and plunge your scimitar strand into her belly. Um, All right. Roll, roll two of the dice. Okay. That one's six. Nice. nice. One. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so seven, and it's plus your strength. Strength. Um, or was your scimitar plus your dexterity? What's it say? Both plus. What's the like dice plus? 
plus two. Okay, so let's do. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the microphone! Oh! <laughs> the scariest thing of it's... all is damaging oh. our equipment. Oh my god! Now, I okay. hope that sounded good. <laughs> you guys like that? All right, dealing nine points of damage. Oh gosh. Um, she bloodied now. She, Please. She is bloodied now. Yeah! <laughs> As Woo. you literally pull out your okay. bloody scimitar from her stomach. And she says, Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I love this crazy little, go- this um, little go- green lady. <laughs> Good one. Um, Leave me alone. But it is, it is no. her turn. Um, and you see her lying on the ground. goes, and uh, from the trees, you hear a whoosh as a broom flies out. <laughs> 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 yeah! Um, and it flies uh, straight towards Gideon. Yeah! <laughs> Catch it. <laughs> I just like grab it. I start riding it. <laughs> can I do that? Can I, can I do a... Okay, make, a dex- make an acrobatics check. Oh my god. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my god! Okay, it's an eight. Oh, plus so, my... sadly not. Yeah. Huh. What's your armor class? Oh um, no. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. The broom does not hit you as the broom tries to like impale you. <laughs> oh, okay. I tried to grab it, but I couldn't do it. Yeah. So you tried to grab it and like, but you kind of like, whoop, almost yeah. It slipped out of my fingers. Yeah. As you, as you feel it, kind of zoom, zoom through. It, it got scared that I was. It didn't. It didn't expect that. It didn't expect me to try to get it. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. So just. Yeah, she's gonna do that, and then still like lying on the ground. She's gonna just like, so that was kind of her main action was to bring her broom into this fight. Um, but then she's also gonna like, kind of wave her hand, and she turns back into like a beautiful woman. It's like you wouldn't hurt me now, dearie, would you? I would. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that brings us Excuse to Gideon's me. turn. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh my god. Oh, can I catch the broom again? <laughs> like <laughs> jump off the it train. It kind of like it kind of like flew off and is kind of like oh. coming around about. So. Man. Uh, how far away from the lady? The, the what? Lady? The, the lady. Uh, 20 feet. 20 feet? I'm going to run up to her and uh, try to... I have my rapier sword. All right. Yes. Yeah, with advantage, go for it. Sweet. Okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, nine. It's with advantage. Actually, you rolled oh. twice. <laughs> Not 20 feet! <baby. laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, yeah. So, you get to roll 66. Wow. With your sneak attack damage. Whoa! Uh, that <laughs> might kill her. Please, Let's is go. this like allowed in D&D rules? <laughs> Don't question it. 6d6, six okay, this okay. This is when the rogue crits, yes. <laughs> right. Three. I'll write it down. Okay, okay. three yep. plus one. Okay. Plus two. Okay. Plus two. Okay. One. Plus six. One more. Plus Six. Nice. All right. Yeah. So that's um, ten. That's twenty points of damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, plus your dexterity modifier. Oh my, that's plus three. Okay, it's twenty-three <laughs> points of damage. Yes. That's <laughs> probably gonna kill her. Please. Um, I love being a rogue so much. She's on her last legs. Hmm. It's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. As you bring her, like, your rapier, like also just kind of into her side, and you hear just kind of a. <laughs> as it kind of damages her lungs. And she's like, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. I want to hear a kooky laugh. <laughs> One last time. All right. She's like, <laughs> All right. Well, this brings us to Bren. Come on, man. Bring it home. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot another magic miss louder. Okay. Yeah. This is going to yeah, be a guaranteed it. hit on her. All right. Roll, Please. So roll. I'm going to fly. All right. I'm going to run up and fly. Why, why can you fly? There's like <laughs> super saiyan it's, it's my It's my ability whenever so I... You run up. Like, um, I'm going to fly gathers over around her. you, and you kind of like hover above Falx and shoot down into her. Yeah. Roll right. 3d4. If you, have, if you have a second level spell, you can cast that second level and get another d4 damage. Yeah. Well, I got four. Okay. Four. A. Okay. Three. All right. Plus one, right? <laughs> Plus one for each. Um, that's oh. 10, yeah. 14. Come on. So, <laughs> how do you, uh, yeah, as you grab your green crystal, um, fly up over Falx and just bring your hand down and then shooting three white missiles, one in her stomach, one in her chest, and one hits her head. And for a second, you see her just go, <laughs> as it goes, <laughs> and crushes her skull in. Yeah. And kind of with the last. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. She lies dead on the ground. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> that looks like I had the last oh, one. Oh guys. 
I'm going to call that a night. <laughs> um, yeah, as you do see, um, a little bit down the road, her broom kind of stops flying and comes to a slow hover. I want it. I want the broom. I want uh, the broom. That is too much power for it? you. And that is where we will end tonight's episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that curse. Thank you for joining us on this magical, scary Halloween night. Um, please join us for um, next on Thursday when we continue this magical, creepy Halloween journey. So thank you, and as always, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Peace. Bye bye.